Hello folks, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm just out here doing a bit of painting while Sharon's out. You probably see on my other channel, Retro Restore, that uh, I'm refurbishing these leather seats for Jimmy's old BMW, which he's got. So um, this ain't the restoration on here, but I thought I'd just show you what I'm up to. You're going to go on a bit of time lapse for that. I'll see you in a minute. I thought I'd get this on there just to show you what I've been up to on my Retro Restore channel. These old BMW seats there were in a terrible state, full of mould and uh, some of them were actually ripped as well, which I've done a repair. And as you can see, I sprayed them on with a, uh, a proper spray gun. You can dab it on with uh, a sponge, but this came out excellent, to be honest with you. And I've never done this before, so it might give people the confidence to have a go at this themselves if they've got a damaged car seat or a panel on a, a leather sofa, for example, that uh, needs repair. All right, that's it first coat, folks. I'll give it one more coat and then uh, that'll be that one done. A little bit patchy at the moment, it's drying out, but the heat out here is tremendous. Hello, I think I can hear Sharon. Yes, she's here, look. And she's there. Oh, not Tracy again. Can you see her on there? Yeah, yeah. A little bit dark, so, so bright out here. Isn't it, baby? Say hello to all your fans, Tracy, because you're getting more and more. Oh. You're gonna what? What? Oh, wait there. Say hello to all your fans because you're getting more and more fans. Now I've got to be careful how I say this. I don't want to be saying hello to my only fans. The <laughs> 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 only fans, fans only. I don't know. Oh. Hello, everybody. Hello. Oh, hello, baby. Daughter, baby. Oh, baby. We got another little present, shall we? Got uh, from our well, the wish list on Retro Restore, actually. We've got loads of beaten car parts. Well, for... it's not for me then. Is no, it? it's not for you, baby, oh. but. It's lawnmower parts there. Lawnmower parts, no. Loads of primer bulbs, thank folks. Thank you for Martin, but not Yeah, for but me. as I say, there's no note in there, Shao. So whoever oh, it is, okay. thank you very much for supplying them. Because uh, they do come in very, very handy, as you know. They're Briggs and Stratton ones, and we service all them depths, Sharon, don't we? So leave in the messages who you are, so we can thank you properly. And Mike, oh, he's off, look, he's off. At the end. He's off again, not bouncing. Get them knackers off, Merlin. Calm you down. Right. You might put on a bit of weight. Well, I'm just waiting for a bit of uh, that to cool off now. There, that paint to dry off rather. You did say to me, signs we need to go shopping, and we do. We do need to go shopping. We do. So I'll give this one more coat, folks, and then it looks like we've got to go shopping. It's coming on nicely, though, look. That's one coat. It's drying out, so it's still a little bit wet and dry in places, but this is waterborne paint and sealer for this leather. And it's totally transformed these car seats. So if you want to see them uh, being refurbished, do pop up. Well, I'll leave a link in the description below, because I've never done this before. I'm a first time of doing it, and it's given me the confidence now if I had a leather seat to repair in my car, normally you say, oh, it's got to go to a professional, but I've had a go and I've done it. So there you go. Happy days. Tracy. He's got his new golf trolley. Oh, um, oh no, he has, Sharon. How do you know he has? Because I spoke to her this morning. She's oh. phoned me up. Did I, tell, I told you, Sharon, didn't I? Tracy, I told you as well. You on my video, in? my rant, in, not Tracy. a rant video, where we had that troll. Anyway, that's hopefully all sorted now and finished and that. I want nothing to do with a person. And we're going to move on because I've had so much positive feedback, baby. Yes, thank you, everybody. I didn't actually realise we've helped so many people over the years. We've had people who have been subscribed to us for eight you years. me, baby. I know, I know. But we've had people who subscribed to us and told us how, many, how much money we've saved them, how they've got new skills, people who have been welding as a result of watching my videos. And the, the greatest thing of all, which I find, is that when we went on our keto, I went carb-free, dairy-free, meat-free, everything, apart from, uh, like, <laughs> I, want, I was a vegetarian and dairy-free, that was the main thing, and no carbs. And I put a series of videos out, uh, out on Butler's Empire of my diet and how I lost quite a lot of weight in that short time and how I didn't have cravings anyway. This bloke said, just a bit of positive information for you, Mark. He said, I had this bloke at work who has got uh, diabetes. He said, and I showed him your series of videos. He said, and, um, he's said, reversed it. He's reversed it basically, yeah. But he said, that's all down to you eating no carbs, he says, because of that video you sent me, that link. He said, and he was the only person out of his diabetic clinic that he goes to who's reversed the diabetes so you since know what the lockdown. I've said? Do you know what I said to Without any medication. Night? There you go. Go watch your videos and do it again. Yeah, because my <laughs> levels have gone up, by the way, folks. And a lot of you do point out that, yeah, we, we do taste all the foods we've been cooking and stuff. And obviously, I've not been following my regime strictly, no. but um, I'm not in any medication for my diabetes. And as a result of that, because I've been eating a load of rubbish food or carbs, so to speak, or processed foods, my levels have gone up again. And I've put on a bit of weight again. That's one of the side effects of having a, a, a like sort of insulin resistance or diabetes. So 
I'm gonna have to watch my own videos now. So he actually makes me do all these cooking videos for which I love cooking anyway. Yeah, but those but I have to eat them and I'm putting the weight on. <laughs> but those videos, shout to be honest with you, are to show people how they can cut down on this, this electricity is, yeah. and yeah, gas bills, right, what yeah. we got at the moment. And also, rather than eat processed foods with all these sulfates and chemicals in and all that, cook it yourself and have a lot of fun while you're doing it. And that's what we've been doing. That's why oh, I have so much fun filming them with him, you just don't know. Melty but bloody nice. Go away, you're Drowning by yourself, now you wanna blame. Oh, it's all over your face. <laughs> like you have no Look at that, folks. I ain't take your mm. options. Now I'm not the problem. Man. <laughs> you really don't know. Oh, I, I think you should leave it running I one can't day. Leave the you out, see, out, Sharon. Yeah. I can't do that. Sometimes because... you see my face and you I've yeah, had a bit of that. But what you gotta remember is is that I have to direct the video as well. I have to impart to you what I need to see, where the camera's got to be, how it's going to be out uh, interpreted in the editing and stuff like that, and make sure you get the right message across to people. So it's all part of creating a video, and people don't really see that. That's why a lot of these people, when they watch a video and they're like, I'm ranting, I'm ranting, and they, and they complain Come about what they've seen, they don't realise, but we're not talking about that anymore, Shia, because we have actually moved on. We've stepped back and we've seen all the positiveness on our channels and what people have said and how we've helped people and sod it, we're going forward again and we're going to do what we do the way we do it. We're honest people at the end of the day. We so who to... wants to chop Marilyn's balls off? That's what I want to know. Unbelievable. Right, I'm going to paint that over half now, folks, and I'll see you in a minute. You want to do it? Right, baby, you haven't got one indicator on your car, have you? No, it's correct. I want you to go and fix it now. Come on, you're going to have to give me a hand then. Get out there. Right, you can put the ignition on, baby, and uh, I'll see what one's flashing. Oh, windscreen wipers she's put on. She's put the windscreen wipers on, folks. Ah, here we go. That's working. Yeah, back's flashing quickly. All right, so we know it's the front one, baby. Turn it off. I might be able to get to that in here, I'm not sure. Does that turn out? Always awkward, isn't it, folks? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's, a, it's an orange bulb. Normal bulb, hold on. I didn't realise it was a, an orange bulb, Sharon. I don't know if I've got any of them. Oh, no. I wonder if I can colour that till we can get the right one. Is that a 12 volt? 12 volt, 21 watt. What's this one? 12 volt. Sharon, can you have a look at this for us? I can't quite see it, folks. Can you see what that says around that bulb there? Around the edge? That right in? What do you think? SC 12 volt. 12 volt? What's after that? P Y No, P V 21 W 21 W, that's all I wanted to know, baby. That means 21 what? Have we got a pen, a red pen or red sharpie we can colour that with for the moment? Are they coloured then? Oh, look, look, the bulb's coloured, look. No, no, they're not, are they? No, that's what I'm saying. So if you've got a red sharpie until we can get one of them. That'd be fantastic, Sharon. We'll try that folks. There's a shop up the road which we may eh? I just want to see that one. Oh look she moaning, I'm trying to do this for her. She's got an orange pen, let's have a little go. Let's have a go. Hold that one in case we have to go and see Ainsley. Mm, yeah, but it's not as orange as I'd like it. But it will get us out of trouble. We'll plug it in and see. It is orange, but I don't think it's orange enough, folks. That's really dark orange, isn't it? It is orange. Adult, isn't it? That's why adult colour. I don't think you're going to get much better than that, shout to be honest with you. Maybe if I go over it a few times. It's getting darker, actually, look. <laughs> but I don't think it will be enough. It's a never straightforward, folks, is it? Can you see the pins on the one I've just coloured, which is now all over my fingers? The pins are straight, yeah? The pins on the coloured bulb are offset, look. They're not one directly underneath, it's about sort of five o'clock, look. <sighs> Always something in there. So we need a specific bulb now. <sighs> look, I've got it all over my fingers trying to put it in, look. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. No, I'll put it back in there, maybe. Oh, would you believe that, would you? So, maybe it might not have been the bulb, it might have been the connector. So if I just give that a tap, put that bulb back in there. Where have I put the keys? Where have I put them? There we go, 
it, I took the keys in. Right, that's back in. In fact, folks, that's quite easy to get that back in. I'm surprised, I really am surprised. What? Took the keys She's took the keys in. Look. The Can you put that on the kitchen table then and I'll uh, hold it like that? You go and get the keys and we'll have a look. It might be that the bulb weren't properly making connection, I don't know. The element actually looks alright, so we'll see. But it just shows you folks, doesn't it? Nothing standard. Anyway. That's the BMW folks that we're doing the uh, interior, or I've done the interior on. Jimmy's going to be spraying this soon. He's actually sprayed the bonnet. You wouldn't know that at the moment, but uh, come on, baby, you can do it. Just switch it on. Put the ignition on. Put that bulb on. Let's have a look and see if it, if it's uh, working. If not, we need one of them specific bulbs. No, bulb's definitely gone. All right, well, we'll have to order one then. Oh, do you want to drive up the road? Go and get your purse, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Hey? Yeah, you all heard correctly. What? I said they all heard correctly. Did you swear then? I know. Well, it's because it's hot, Shay. You're all flustered. I know. I just want to sit down. I'm not sat down yet this morning. Nor have I, baby. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah, but what I've... Oh, you won't believe what's happened. I've sold a few things on eBay. And my PC's just literally updated to Windows 11. And, um... Then the antivirus software to, this morning asked me to do a run of scan and it clears all the old cookies out and stuff like that. Anyway, I've sold something overnight and I went to like, fill the, the postage thing in. I can't log on, log on, log on to my PC on the eBay for some reason. And trying to get through the help desk. You try and find the eBay help desk. And even when you do get there, I, I was on there for an hour. I got through to one chap, which was uh, Lewis. Lewis then passed me on to Kevin who by the sounds of him was in India or somewhere like that. Kevin sounds about a woman to me. Well, that's India, the shower voice. Right. And then after 40 minutes on with Kevin, he then says that they're going to have to pass the fault onto the technical department because it's a bug where you can't log in. You get your verification via the email, via your telephone or email to, to, to log in, and it don't send you the login information. Or the, it don't send you the email. Or then it defaults to send you back to put in... Oh, anyway... So I've had to go on my mobile, which I could do on my mobile, but I'm used to doing it on PC, baby, you know. Shut that down, baby. So yeah, I have spent about two hours. Just pull it. Just pull it down, baby. And give it a push now. Go on, and again. Go on. Hold on. Have you trapped anything in there? Lift it up. Pull the little lever. Have we left anything there? What's that there? Oh, look that. Oh. That's you. That is not pointing back. Shout! We don't use that anymore. Shut that door. Here, do you remember this one? Who said this, shall? Let me just put Hello, it Hello, Honky Tonks, how are you today? Uh, what's his name? Go on. Oh, my God, we were uh, talking about him the other day. Yeah, of course we were. I can see him. You know, don't you? Oh. Hello, Honky Tonks, how are you today? Dick Henry, Sharon. I can see him walking along doing it. Just oh, hello. <laughs> you've got my grandchildren saying right. Where's that? my tripod gone? I've just stuck it in the car. Oh, OK. Am I driving? Well, you always drive. Come on then, baby. Let's see if we can go and get this, Bob. Have you got any money? No, I can't drive. Have you got any money? I've got my purse. It's just cold, Jack. All right, we'll get a cold drink when we're down there as well. We'll see you in a minute, folks. Say that again. <laughs> go on. Just get in the car and go. You're in the wrong seat, Sharon. You should be in that one. Look. Oh, shut up and get in. <laughs> Well, there you go, folks. Just been to our local little petrol station, which is by Bainland Park, and they've got the exact thing there for us. And you, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe I really dropped it. <laughs> oh, Sharon. Uh, they've got all other sort of car spares in there as well. You remember years ago, folks, those of you who were old enough, you used to be able to go into a petrol station and buy car spares, spark plugs, fan belts, uh, caps, all that contact breaker points, all that sort of stuff. This is just like the old days, so do check it out if you're in Woodall Spa and you need something like this. Don't go on Amazon if you need it straight away. Don't go on eBay. Get that That's why I told you to come here. Hey? That's why I told you to come here. You did, didn't you, baby? Yeah. Let's get it put in. Come on. Let's get it put in, baby. Right, so it lives in here, as I said to you. Half a turn, a quarter of a turn, it comes out. Let's get that one out. Let's put that one in. 12 volt 21. What can only go in one way, folks? Put it back in there. Half a turn. There we go. It's clipped in. Let's see if that now works. Come on. Oh, look at that. Look. 
that simple you my friend are now redundant there you go folks happy days baby in you get you happy with it so that's our little petrol station folks look moorland service station there do check them out only a little shop but they got all the essentials if you break down oils all that sort of stuff oh what am i sitting on yeah all the essentials folks nice to see a little petrol station like that still exists anyway let's get home it's a bit warm out here yeah lovely little petrol station that folks just like the old school ones which i remember back in the 80s and uh, as you can see what a lovely day it is today up in the well just 30 degrees centigrade here in uh, my village of Woodall Spa and you can see the big skies we got there full of uh, bright sunshine which we get I know you can't see them at the moment because we're going through the blinking leafy trees but uh, yeah what a lovely little village it is I love village life folks we've been here for 22 years now and uh, we absolutely love Woodall Spa Yeah, just coming into the main village now. This is the main drag of Woodall Spa. And the uh, holiday makers absolutely love this place. And as I say, it's got a really lovely holiday feeling about it. If you're ever up in uh, Lincolnshire, uh, visit Woodall Spa. There's plenty of campsites up here. There you go, baby. There's your keys. Right, folks, we're in Horncastle at the moment. This is a little stream here that um, runs through. Not sure exactly what one it is, but uh, if we come over here, we see a placard on the wall on that building over there. I'm just getting you this angle so you can see the difference between where that water line is and uh, that placard that's on the wall over there. What it says is that was the flood catastrophe in uh, 1960, October the 7th, and that was the height there of the water reach hour, wasn't it? Yeah, so they say. So they say, yeah. It actually went up to that, look. And that from that little stream over there. How about that? I don't think it's happened again since. So we're just going down to Heron Foods, folks, at the moment, because someone wanted us to do a review on can they do ready meals in our air fryer? So we thought we'd just pop down there, get some uh, couple of cheap ready meals, just see what they got down there. And uh, yeah, while we're doing that, we thought we'd bring you along for the journey. What we got here? This is this used to be a music shop show, didn't it? No, that was up there, the music oh, shop. Oh, was it? Yeah. You sure? Oh, yeah, that of course it was. Fantastic. We have budget price fashions and 50 style sunglasses in our retro room. How about that? Everything's retro show. It's a lovely place, on Castle. Not a antique shop, it? Yeah, very picturesque. Only a little um, village, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that pub there, folks. Look, that's the the King's Head. Isn't there a little cat on there? You very see rarely it. see that, eh? Hey? Can't see it. You very rarely see them decorated like that there anymore. There it is. Look, the thatched cat going on the chimney. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see that up there, folks. Next to the chimney is a little thatched cat. Look, up on that roof. Look. See it better here. Can't yeah, I can see it. So yeah, it's a lovely little place. Little bustling village. Or is it a town? I'm not sure, Shell. I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, I think it's a town, actually. It might it? be a town, yeah. But uh, this is six miles from where we are in Woodall Spa, and it is quite a lot busier, Shell, isn't it? This is the old music shop. Hey? Yeah, this used to be the old music shop on the corner here. It's more like a little bric a brac shop now, Shell, isn't it? Ooh, 100. What? Can't be £125 that jug. Is it? Oh. Is it £125 or £12.50? No, it looks like £125, doesn't it? Don't know. Anything retro now, shall? It's quite expensive, isn't it? This is it as well, isn't it? This is the old retro look, look. Yeah. Look shop. Your retro, shall? Can't be £125, look, they're five. Nah, they're only a five of them things. There we go, what have we got here? Cordless phones. These are handy for the elderly, these shops, aren't they? Yeah. They haven't got internet. Not everyone's got internet. No, they haven't. Forgotten Tea Room. That's a new one, shall we? Have a look. Yeah, let's have a little look. This is a new one. We haven't seen this one before, folks. It used to be a photography shop. Yeah, it did used to be a photography shop. You're right. The Forgotten Tea Room. Let's have a little look oh, in it there. it smells old. 
It does, doesn't it? Yeah, a little tea room there. That's quite nice. Yeah, look, old fashioned tea room, folks. Look, look at that, look. Wow, it's amazing, isn't it? Shall I say, you get a lot of tea rooms yeah. in Lincolnshire. Yeah, the old fashioned types. Yeah, the old fashioned nice. types, which are very nice. Always our favourite. Here we go, look. Here we go, look. Look at the look at that look. Why do they why are they allowed to exercise their sport, their hobby, on the public highway? If I was a skateboarder shall, would I be able to ride a skateboard on the public highway like that? And yet they could block up traffic in their two or three what they do. Oh let's not start on that one. Yeah, is, is it a town? Hold on. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look, Horncastle Town, that's right, yeah. So that's the old thing there. The old surrounding areas because back in the olden days i think the old farmers used to buy and sell the, the stuff here yeah. yeah. new, new max coming soon <laughs> would that have been a fountain at some stage i don't know whatever that is so. look at that what is that what does that say on it sharon it's all foreign it's latin well it's not foreign it's latin yeah, it's foreign, isn't it? yeah i don't know i don't know what it is no no oh well it's now a car park, baby. You've got the Horn Castle Farmers Club there. I don't know whether that's some sort of social club or whatever. I don't think that's there anymore. No? It's a vintage. Well, that looks like it's been repainted, though, doesn't it? It's not old original painting, it's is it? It's retro vintage Age UK. Oh, Age UK, right, sure, yeah. Really I think they're just using thing. the building then, Sharon, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. What's in there? Vintage. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's Heron Foods, folks. That's where we're heading over there. Used to be a Woolworths. Woolworths. Did, yes, that's right. It did. We all remember Woolworths, folks. That was a Woolworths back then. There's some lovely old cars coming through. Look. Yeah. Look at these, folks. Look. Look at that. Right, so we're only looking for. Um... It's only eighty nine p. What's that then, baby? Can't be. What are they? Eighty nine p. Yeah, well, they're going to be the very basic ones, aren't they? Yes, Probably so mechanically good. reclaimed meat and all that. But uh, let's have a little look here, anyway. We just want a couple of uh, takeaway meals. Oh, but this is nice. ready I've meals. Had these before. What's that? Like what you get in Kentucky in your burger, the flaming hot. Oh, all right. They usually are hot. Are they? What's this? Pies. Pies and pasties. <laughs> Some people don't go shopping anymore, shall they do it all online? Yeah, I like to so this would be nice for too. someone if they've never been shopping for a good while. They're walking around and shop with us now, aren't they? Where's the ready meals? So you do all this unpackaged stuff or um See, branded stuff. Yeah. Let's have a little look. We see already meals. What's this for then? The ready meal. Oh, see, I mean, look how cheap these are, folks. Look, if you are stuck on a budget, I know it's probably not the best food for you, but uh, there's no reason why you can't eat. Is that a chicken meal? Chicken and pepper noodles. Yeah, One pound sixty-nine. That's me, John. Okay. You pick what you're eat. Well, I don't want a fish pie. No, I do like macaroni cheese, Sharon. I do like a macaroni cheese. Oh, let's have a look at their roast dinner. Breakfast. Let's have a look. Lift that up. Lift this up. What have we got here? Chicken dinner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That's two pounds there, look. That'd be interesting to find out what it's like for two pounds, wouldn't it? We try that. I thought you would have gone for that. You've surprised what? me there. The breakfast. Yeah, well, we we know what breakfast is. So that looks like a really that looks quite a substantial meal well, on there, doesn't it? Onions, but it that size box. Yeah, try <laughs> that. Right, that'll do for us now, folks. Right, so we're going to get this stuff home now, folks, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're back home now, folks, and uh, just got a few thanks and announcements to make. As you can see, the buggy there. That's not for you, baby, but it was yours once, wasn't it? It was my Jimmy's. Well, this, one of them, I had so many buggies. This was Jimmy's buggy, and we're now going to give it, because we need to have a little buggy to take 
Baby Frank out, don't we? Got it out of the attic, so I'm going to give it a good clean in a yeah. minute. Baby Frank's dad used to be in there, now Baby Frank's going to be in and there. And I must say, the inside, there was all padding, which is in the washing machine. It doesn't look old fashioned. No, it don't, does it? It's 25 now. Not like us, yeah. Talking about 25, baby. Your birthday is Tuesday. Tuesday. It's the 14th today, folks, as you're watching this video. So on the 16th of August, it's my little princess's birthday. I've really given her a word. Well, that come today, actually. Look. Do you want to show him the card I sent you? He always does me a moon pig, and I've got a big box where I've kept them all, my memories box. Yeah, let's show you this. And here we go, folks. It's my babies. Yeah, there they are, look. That's what's happened this year. She's got her little special uh, card there this now. This one we took out yesterday, and for the first time ever, nearly a year I've had him to the day, I let him off the lead. I felt brave in it. And he come back each time and he was looking. Yeah, he comes so straight good. back. This one, we can't... We have Morning. to go like one-to-one -one on the quiet roads. Yeah. We have to take him... At, He's work is. in progress. Yeah. To celebrate my birthday, they got some gifts from you lovely people. So we actually got two gifts. We think they're from the same person. We've got this one here, which is an, an antler off of our wish list. This is... Uh, show him, show me. That's the antler. I'm going to give this to Dougal. Dougal. And we've got this one here, which is a nylon... A nylon oh. bone which uh, this cut they both come separately yeah but only one of them come with a message and that was uh hi you enjoy your gift from kevin pritchard so thank you for if it wasn't you kevin who sent both of them whoever sent the other one just leave your name in the comment yeah. section below my dogs are very very grateful but it, if it was you kev thanks very much for sending them well, it was them. definitely kevin that sent this so this one yeah. i'm giving to merlin, merlin. Yeah, merlin. only because he's extra large yeah, look. so look merlin look what you've been sent oh yeah <laughs> that's a winner kevin do yeah. go do go what have you got? Hey. Have you got it, Dougal? Two happy doggies now. Thank go you very you go. much. My dogs appreciate that. Go on, off you go. So thank you very much, Kev, for those or whoever else is uh, probably going to wish Sharon happy birthday. You can thank leave you. something down in the comment section, folks. But she's also updated the wish list as well. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to take a look at that. Maybe still get... gifts to my boys. My boys are very important yeah. to me, as you all know. And we'd also like to say thanks for a couple of super thanks, people. Uh, we've got Gerbert, who sent us a lovely super thanks. Thank, thank you very you. much, Gerbert. Thank you. And also an old subscriber. I think Gerbert's an old subscriber yeah, as Gerber's well. Yeah, Gerbert's been there a long time. And also Captain Phil. Thanks very much, Phil. And can I just say? What? We got recognised for the first time today as Butler's as Empire. Butler's Empire, yeah, while we was out in filming, filming that little segment in Allcastle, someone says, oh, Butler's Empire and shook their hand. Oh, no, it's the second time, because Dougal got recognised the other day outside the co-op, didn't it? Oh, Somebody right. said, yeah, yeah. is that Dougal? Yeah. And yes, it's my boy. Yeah. And if you're watching, mate, with the bloke we saw outside... They didn't um, take your name, sorry. Yeah, we should, we should have taken your name and we could have given you a shout-out as well. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this. Don't forget, to do check out our Amazon wish list if you want to... Give her a little treat for her birthday, maybe. All I want here with this, my family and my dog is. Yeah. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. We'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye-bye. Bye for now.